check out this part made on this beast of a machine using top tier tools. But the real secret, the DMQP partnerships. Now this part is DMG Mori, Walter Tools and Fuchs Lubrication all coming together to push boundaries. So let's see how. The reason behind this demonstration was to take a larger part from a larger machine uh, and put it onto our package machines, a 95 monoblock, uh, and shows the greatest capacity for such a small footprint. One of the uh, issues is purely down to the close pocket. Uh, because of the five, full five axis configuration and the stability of the part, you can remove the materials, give a, a good semi-finished date, so you've got a true finishing amount of material rather than a overly varied. That means you get a better quality of part and a reduced cycle time. Now this is a 20,000 RPM spindle, one of our standard Speedmaster spindles, which is a 36 months warranty. Now, you can run it at the 20,000, uh, if you so wish, for th three years, and it will just live with all the punishment you're going to give it. But the uh, access for the part, as I said, this was originally designed for a larger machine, and this is a, a more common machine purchased in this country. So it's very good to show that uh, you've got the capacity to do very complex parts quickly and efficiently. The collaboration came from DMG Mori being a global company, needing a global partner that's got solutions and support. As a DMG Mori qualified products provider, it means for an end user that they have access to all the engineering competence that comes with purchasing water tools through the certificates that DMG Mori provide. The value that this brings to a manufacturer is the engineering side of it is predetermined before they take the actual machine onto their shop floor. The DMU 95 monoblock is a middle range machine in capacities but it's a very common machine sold in the UK. So what we wish to do with this is show the overall capacities. So with this, we've taken an oversized part and put it into this machine to give greater flexibility, to show that if you have one, you're not overly limited on what you think you can actually do. We're utilising the machine's control capabilities. In particular, we're utilising the ATC, the application tuning cycle. Now this can reduce cycle times between 34 and 38% simply by turning it on. Same speed, speeds and everything else. The reason being is that it's the look ahead, it's the control of the axis and the general control of the movements. And I don't just mean the axis movements, I mean the look ahead function for the control. All of the five axis are really champions. Uh, they're at the height of what is possible with five axis. But this fitting, as I said just a, a moment ago, it's a more commonly purchased machine. Not everybody will want to purchase a machine that is 3.4 metres or um, uh, 2 metres or something in that order, which we could supply. But they have a smaller workshop, so they have a small workshop but still require large capacity. And the monoblock range fits into that sort of uh, requirement perfectly. Now we've heard all about the machine from Martin, but let's see what tools will be used from Darren. Tool number one, it's an M2131, it's 40 mil diameter and it's an aluminium rating mill. It's running at 15,000 RPM, 10,000 feed, five mil depth of cut, 33 mil step over, operating a climb mill strategy. Tool number two is an MD266, which is 25 mil diameter. It's a specific aluminium cutter, and it is going 12 and a half mil depth of cut. It's going 18,000 RPM, and it's going 8.2 meters feed rate. Tool number three is an MD266, which is 20 millimeters diameter. That's going 12 and a half mil depth of cut. It's also operating a climb milling strategy. Tool number four, is a 12 mil MC166, which is a cutter designed for thin wall finishing. It's going a 15 mil depth of cut, and it's going 18,000 RPM and six meters feed. 
Tool number five is an MC467. It's a 12 mm ball nose cutter uh, that is finishing the floor. It's going 18,000 RPM and it's going 6.2 meters feet. Tool number six is an MC467, which is an 8 mm ball nose. Again, it's finishing the floor. It's going at 18,000 RPM and 6 meters feet. Tool number seven is an MC467, which is a four mil ball nose. That's being used to pick out all the areas the other cutters couldn't get to, and that's going 18,000 RPM and three meters feet. Tool number eight is a DC183, which is a Kratatech drill. Uh, it's being used to drill all the 3.3 millimeter holes. It's going 19,000 revs and 800 feet per minute. Now, as you may have noticed, we're not using coolant on every tool. And the only reason for that is, is we want you at home to be able to see exactly what is happening in this machine. Now, if we were running this for full production, we would be running corn on every tool. The great area around the machine, the flexibility of that, so we've got a nice central position. So with the table movement, we're able to uh, gain access to all features of the component. That means that the tooling can get in and remove material efficiently without compromise on the cutting techniques. The swarf evacuation uh, has helped along with the coolant and everything else to help overall produce a better part. DMG Mori looking for partners around the world globally as we are a, a global company and we're looking to give the customer support whether it's on the cutting tools, on fixturing, coolants, all of these features need to help customers get to the best solution. We work with a number of different uh, companies and Walter are one of the ones that we work very closely with in this facility. Uh, the main challenge was metal removal rates and also the thin walls that are in the structure, how to apply the tools to get the best surface finish for the part. Tackling these problems, Walter's got a system called GPS which gives you your cutting data, your meters a minute, your feed per tooth, and you can play with it to give you the desired metal removal rate you require. Well, we worked together actually on site on the machine and we went through each tool one by one to dial it in to give it the best finish and metal removal rates that we could. So we're using EcoCool Global 1000 for this demo because it's specifically designed for the aerospace industry for this sort of component that we see and the materials that go along with it. So we're machining aluminium today. Uh, obviously with EcoCool Global 1000 we offer a no staining, low foam and a long sump life that you'd sort of see with these long operations. So obviously everyone wants better tool life, better surface finishes and this is where we come in to provide a solution uh, depending on your operations and your materials to suit. So everyone's got carbide grades and things like that. We've got specific grades of coolant to suit your applications. So EcoCool Global 1000 has been developed by a global network of engineers specifically for this industry to enhance tool life, give you better sump life so it sort of becomes hassle free and gives you the ability to concentrate on things that are more important to you. So we contribute to the process stability by offering a low foam, long sump life and very good stability within a high pressure coolant operation which in turn allows you to lo run longer cycle times and potentially lights out machining. Well, Fuchs has been a DMQP partner now for over 10 years and really what it means is that we are two leading experts coming together to create real value for our customers and ultimately wanting to get our customers to win. Being part of the DMQP group allows us to partner with the likes of DMG and Walter. And again, experts coming together, looking at things from different angles for, and delivering real solutions for our customers, enabling them to make real changes to their business. Fuchs not only just make world-class coolants, but we also help our customers in terms of how they manage the products from cradle to grave, from machine clean-outs to optimum fluid management to make sure that they're compliant, giving them some of the safest environments for their machinists and the, the working environment, and also allowing them to just concentrate on what's most important to them and making parts. 
Well, being a DMQP partner means you're in the selection process for the customer to purchase certificates when buying a machine tool. At the point of them buying that certificate, we get to showcase our engineering competence to give a satisfactory and reliable machining solution to the customer. Well, when we're using a DMQP voucher, it becomes a bigger thing than just a tooling package. Behind it, you've got uh, application guys, you've got a technology centre in Germany. Depending on the size of the actual project, we can utilise all them tools that Walter have available to them. Our DMQP partners are all about getting the support to the customer and reliability is what we're really looking for. So customers have a quality product that we don't have to worry about. We'll always give them the result that they need. So that is where somebody like Walter has uh, our backs and our support so that when the customer finds it from a cutting demonstration in the, in, here in the showroom with component pads off to the ongoing production costs, they're always getting the best solution at the best price.